<clears throat> okay. <laughs> Hello. Let me get myself situated here. <sighs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, I am Mika. This is Leap Taken. I'm going to put my drink down. This is Leap Taken. And here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And today is Witchy Review. So excited for what you review. I really enjoy doing this. I like going live. I like um, talking to everyone. And I'm sorry for all the paper noise. I'm just trying to get this paper unraveled. So today's what you review is a little different. I, I went out on a limb. I had, I saw this a few times. Honestly, I didn't fully comprehend what it was, um, but I was intrigued. So I purchased it from Amazon. So um, I realize now I don't have the link, so I'm going to put it, the link in, in just a moment um, so you can see it while I'm talking. Because I got, it's pretty quiet here. Hey, uh, the alt Barbie doll. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, let me put that in real quick. Because I want you guys to see, because I can't remember how much it costs. So I better tell, I better look. Yeah, let me just pull that up right quick. All right, where is it? There we go. The gym, yeah, crystal water bottle. So let me get the link. Get link. All right, copy. All right, now I'm together. All right, so I'm going to put this in the chat. If anybody's really interested it was $33.99 so it, it's not cheap <laughs> it's not cheap it's not you know overly expensive but it's, it's not cheap so anyway this is it I peeked in I had to take out the packaging I peeked in to make sure I had all the pieces and I just took out the paper that comes with it but that's it so it's still kind of an unboxing so nice packaging for $33 I would expect this to be nice let's just be honest uh, Gem H2O Fountain of Life. So, just so you understand, this beautiful Gem H2O, I'm reading the brochure that came with it. Crystal water bottle you've purchased is made out of glass, and glass is fragile. Do not use uh, the crystal water bottle if the glass has a crack, chip, break, duh. <laughs> and then it goes on, um, it gives you instructions how to clean. It's not for dishwasher, so know that. They want you to wash it by hand. It comes with these crystals. This is sitting on top. Okay. So what type of crystals are you getting? Let me see. Uh, powerful crystal combinations. Rose quartz and clear quartz. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amethyst and clear quartz. Citrine and clear, qu clear quartz. Obsidian and clear quartz. They all come with clear quartz. <laughs> then immune booster, citrine, Oh, uh, it's a way to do a combination. Let me get into this. So this is the crystals it came with. So let's get this out. Ooh, pretty. That's it. Nice packaging. Solid. Okay. So it's making noise. I think there's crystals in here. First of all, I like the sleeve. So let's, <coughs> excuse me, take it out. Nice bottle. Looka, looka. <laughs> All right, let me hold it. So Gem H2O, so nice product design. There's crystals in the bottom. Hmm. So I'm gonna, all right. So it's not like a spout. You just drink out the bottle. There, oh no, wait, there's plastic. Is that supposed to be on here? Well, that can't be right, hold on. Did I do something? Hold on. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the plastic that's on the... Yeah. So the plastic or the rubber, it came off for a moment. 
Oh, you said you have one of these in your goddess. Oh, the goddess subscri subscription box. Is it the same kind, Gem H2O? This brand? But anyway, so you would drink the water. You know, there's no crystals going in the water. And they, they did say on the instructions to um, not put it directly in there because there might be minerals that your body can't handle. Now, this is the bottle. And these are the crystals. I guess these are the rose quartz clear crystal. So it's given these dip different options, but it doesn't come with all of these different crystal combinations that it's actually giving you. So that's interesting. I didn't know exactly what I got. Let's just be clear. Um, huh. Well, no. It, no. All right. What the? All right, let me look at this. <laughs> Excuse me. So obsidian and clear quartz. So that must be in here. All right. And this is, this looks like rose quartz and clear quartz. That's all I really see. I don't know how much of this you can get. Let me put some in my hand. Hopefully you can see if I got that right. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at this a little closely. It looks exactly like the same, except mine has ritual water printed on it. Ah, interesting. Do you use it? I'm gonna use it. I'm looking forward to it. Now, I always thought you had to put the, like, find certain crystals to put in the water, which always kind of deterred me. But one of the things I like, it's like, it's infused. So the crystals are here, just like you have crystals on your person. I'm not putting it in my body. Yours came with rose quartz and clear quartz. So something like this. Okay. So I got this extra here with this, um, these extra crystals. And they give you options to mix these up. I think that's like make different combinations depending on what you want to do. I like it. It's a nice bottle. I mean, I'm drinking a lot of water. It's not like you would have to obviously keep refilling it. It's not, you know, but I like it. I'm impressed. I like this. <laughs> I like this because now, I mean, think about it. You're doing this. If you were walking around with this um, and you're out and about, people might wonder what this is at the bottom. But this way, it's nobody's business but your own. <laughs> you're drinking your infused. Now, remember, you could put other crystals in here, too, uh, besides the ones, you know, that came with. And you would just have it like this. And I like this little hook here. You know, you could just carry it like that and it's completely closed at the end so you know it's not gonna fall off oh this is cute i like this i really like this i'm glad i got this i'll be using this today <laughs> yeah you used yours i use it for new moon right play my oh you put the play money in there that's oh that's a good idea jade coins glitter in the bottom for prosperity did yours come with the sleeve also? I like the sleeve because I like having all that and no one knows, you know, what else I got going on in here. So let me look at this. So according to the paperwork that came with it, it gives a description, which I do like, powerful crystal combinations. I like that it does kind of tell you what it, like these combinations of crystals can do if you don't know. Um, if you just, let's say, wanted to use clear quartz, known as the stone of power, amplifies the energy of other crystals, brings clarity to you, uh, your communication, and will amplify your thoughts and may assist you by stimulating clearer thinking. I like that. Um, and then, you know, there are just other options. Like if you want to relax, um, yours didn't come with a sleeve, but it has a handle. Oh, okay. Um, if you wanted to relax, amethyst, uh, the lapis lazuli, I don't know if I ever say that right. I know how to spell it. I know what it is. I don't know if I say it right. And rainbow fluorite. And the amethyst, uh, it says quietens. I think they mean quiets. <laughs> quiets the mind, keeps the mind clear or not intoxicated. Hmm. These are interesting. <laughs> now that I'm really looking at this. I don't remember seeing all this before. Like green avertine supports physical vitality and health, strengthens and purifies organs. Okay. 
Oh, this is the free crystal combination it comes with, the immune booster. They're letting me know about the other ones. I see now. So the immune booster is what I got this. This is what I got. This is the bonus crystal combination. So this is citrine, green avertine, and rose quartz. That's what this is. Citrine stimulates digestion, aiding the immune system. The green avertine supports physical vitality, health, strengthens, and purifies organs. And then rose quartz, my favorite crystal, boosts the immune system and relieves stress by stimulating hormone production. So there you go. But I like the idea. Oh, I, I look forward to using this and like putting um, different things in there as well that I'm manifesting. And just that's beautiful to be able to focus on um, to do to be able to focus on what you're manifesting, like staying aligned um, with all those things, drinking the water daily and all that. That's pretty cool. I, I mean, I love this entire concept. But yeah, so. All right. I approve. <laughs> Um, I'm a sucker for good packaging, and this is nice. Okay, I made it to rose quartz. <laughs> this is very nice packaging. <laughs> Excuse me, I like this a lot. Like when I get stuff like this, I don't want to throw it away because <laughs> I like it so much. I like the way it looks. I like this. I don't know. I think oh, I can repurpose this and do something else. Come on, bring energy to life. I don't know. It seems like something. I I don't know what yet, but. I'm gonna hold on to this. Let me put, you know what? I'll put this in there. I'll keep that in there for now. That's what I'll do. But yeah, so now when you're doing any sort of spell work, as um, it was just suggested by the Alt Barbie doll, if you, um, you know, the, think about new moon, things like that. So you charge those crystals um, for specific intentions. And then uh, you use it here. You kept the package. <laughs> and then you use it in the bottle. I mean, that's just keeping that energy going and using it during the entire moon cycle, you know, until the next full moon. Um, and then some, you know, whatever, until the next new moon, however you want to go about it. That's staying uh, really aligned to everything that you're trying to manifest. I think that's a great idea. Um, and then also, um, and I'm thinking even still, you could remove those keep you know, that combination of crystals or whatever you have at the bottom. Keep those and then occasionally put in something else. Maybe something else is going on um, the next day. And, you know, you're feeling crazy. You know, you're feeling a little off or you're sick or whatever. And you can put some healing crystals in here. Oh, I like that. Incense sticks. Oh, okay. Well, I wouldn't have thought of that. But, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, <laughs> now that you mentioned, I'm thinking of all kinds of things you can put in here. I like the money. I'm thinking like shred, you know how you can get shredded money? If you're manifesting money, you can have that in here. And crystals that support like um, abundance and all that sort of stuff. Fertility, think about that. If you are actively working toward becoming, uh, needing to be more fertile, um, you can have uh, crystals and things that represent fertility put in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, man, I'm thinking of all kinds of things. If I'm looking for, if I'm at work and I'm working on like a promotion, think of the types of crystals that, you know, definitely clear quartz to amplify everything else. But you could put all types of things in here. Let's say like you're around your birthday that month. <laughs> oh, the pa I was like, incense, why would I put them in here? The packaging can hold incense sticks. Listen, I wasn't going to judge you. I wasn't going to judge you. I, if that's what you wanted <laughs> to do, I'm like, all right, you know, her magic is, is not my magic. I get it. Yes, incense sticks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for that. I get, let, me, let me take a sip of my little Sun Joy from Chick-fil-A on that. They don't call it an Arnold Palmer anymore. I found that out. They call it Sun Joy. At least here on the West Coast, which is bizarre. But like, did Arnold Palmer, like the name, I don't know, did that become a thing? Did they get in trouble? Who's to say? I like this a lot. This is my, um, the only thing I'm actually reviewing. I want to look at these crystals a little bit more. I didn't go and uh, purchase anything else because next week I'm doing a witchy haul. 
and I'm going to do a Dollar Tree with you all. <laughs> so I didn't want to do too much because I know I'm going to do a Dollar Tree one and get a bunch of other stuff. I want to get inside these crystals. All right, so they got this in a knot and I got these nails on and I don't want to tear it. Uh, so I nail. Hold on. I can't get it open. <laughs> Wait, maybe. Okay, I got it. I got it. Got it. Oh, is there another knot? Jiminy crickets. See, I was trying to have it, like unpackage it while it was on, but now I was sure to loosen it. Finally got it open. All right, let me look at some of these because I want to see kind of the quality of it. Okay. So I don't know how much you can see. Let me put it like this. Look at that. They're, they look pretty, you know. Nice. Okay. I'm happy. The quality of the crystals, I'm, I'm good with it. Dollar Tree is everything. So I'm going to do a Dollar Tree haul. I have something coming. If All right, the only way I'll change that up is if the other thing, that if it comes early enough, um, I'll do that product. And it's, it's a lot of stuff. But I don't think it's coming in time for um, my review. So either way, <laughs> I'm going to the Dollar Tree. It's just a matter of I'll be talking about it on Friday or not. But I didn't want to do it yet because I want to get, I have a couple of things, quite a few things I want to get from there. But anyway, oh, this is cute. I like this. So I'm very excited about my purchase. I like this a lot. Um, I, you know, haven't obviously used it yet. Crystal energy infused water bottle. So if you want something to sort of stay in line, it's $33. I, I don't know if I paid too much. I did look at some other options and I like what this was offering. Um, I mean, it's a bottle, it's glass. I like the fact that it was glass. I mean, what? I think if you're talking about crystals and things like that, I wouldn't want plastic or acrylic or something like that i like that it is glass um i like the sleeve because i mean i i wouldn't leave the house with this i'm at home anyway i would just keep it on my desk as i drink water or you know living room bedroom or whatever like that but this is fine for my needs i don't mind refilling because <laughs> i have to drink more water than just this little bottle i now have something to hold my incense thank you very much and it came with, excuse me, bonus crystals, which is really cool as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm very happy about that, actually. I like these crystals. They're kind of small. They're different sizes, but they're not all the same, excuse me, same size. My allergies are just, they said today is a bad day. And I have been, well, I went outside to get some Chick-fil-A. Um, it, it's really, I'm, I took allergy medicine. I'm doing all the right things, but such as like you said don't forget to check out the beauty bath section oh wait, yeah you found oh oh at the dollar tree so you found rose lavender coconut bar soaps rose chamomile and lavender bath salts rose facial spray rose face toner i'm interested in that face toner for sure and um for sure in the facial spray i like that but i yeah i will be checking that section out i love rose i don't know if we I don't know if you already just know that, but I, I love rose, um, rose scented things. So that's my favorite. So yeah, I like the way this feels. I don't know. That's why I keep touching it. I like the way it feels. Yeah. But yeah, staying in line. So I know, um, I teased a week ago about doing videos about breaking down the anatomy of a spell. That's going to be Monday's video, uh, for sure. I kind of switched it up cause I had some when I do videos, I have plans. I got this whole planner over here of all the, the, like I plan a month, sometimes two months out. But there are times I feel like it doesn't make sense to do a certain video or subject at that time and I switch it up. So um, I wanted to talk about different things this past week, uh, this past Monday and Wednesday than what I you know initially had planned. But I am gonna talk about breaking down the anatomy of a spell and now that I have this I think this will go great with that so when I mean break down I, I in my what I'm good and it's gonna take a minute to work on so that was the other reason I pushed it back but 
I sort of want to show the from the con almost conception. So walking you through my thinking process of like, okay, so I have this problem, this desire, or this need, right? And start from there. And okay, so what happens when you have, you know, this, this, whatever the thing is, a desire, need, want, whatever. Um, okay, so how do I find a spell? Do I look at a book and, you know, find something and you'll just go through the process with me. I think it's going to be kind of almost like a vlog style a little bit. Um, almost. <laughs> Where, you know, I walk you through the process and then we, you know, okay, we decide on a spell. All right, so you have a spell. How do you do the spell? Do you just put all the stuff together and say, okay, now we're, you know, <laughs> no, you don't. I mean, you could, but that's not how I do. So, you know, the prep, the prep work to actually, before you start the spell, um, the day of the week, all that sort of stuff. How are you going to raise energy? Um, how are you going to code uh, that energy you raise into the spell? Like what, what, it, what is it? All that sort of stuff. And then more importantly, what do you do after the spell? And that's where I think something like this will be fun to incorporate. Uh, yeah, like a spell template, exactly. So something like this is great because a lot of times, <laughs> I think a lot of people are like really open to, okay, I can understand the concept of spell, raise energy, you get a, a gather everything, you put your intentions in. I, I think a lot of people are good there. All right, so now <laughs> it's done, so what do I do now? You know, I made this baggie, I made this oil, I made this, whatever, you know, this necklace that's, you know, this crystal I'm infused with all this energy. So what do I do now? Um, things like staying in, in aligned with that spell is what you would do, by the way. And things like drinking uh, infused water with uh, the crystal's energy that maybe you worked with during the spell is one way to stay aligned. There's all sorts of different ways. It depends on what the spell is, obviously, right? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to kind of walk through that because I think, I know for me in the beginning, first, I'm not even, I don't, when I say the beginning, the beginning was a long time for me. It took a moment for me to really wrap my mind around, one, not feeling like I was pretending or like, <laughs> you know, just like faking it, like I'm, I'm playing pretend with the spell thing. Uh, but once I stopped getting over that, you know, feeling like I was, you know, a faker <laughs> and I was a real witch and I was doing real spells. I did question, okay, so I did the spell, so now what? The candle went out, it burned down, so what do I do now? So we'll we'll get to that. So from the very beginning to the very end, we're gonna do this spell. And you'll understand, you know, you have a better framework going forward for maybe having more effective spells. And the process I'm going to use has worked for me a number of times. And over the years, um, I've gotten a little bit more technical. Yes, I know it's mystical and woo woo and all that stuff, but you can add some technical, like techno, yeah, technicalities to your spell work. Hi, Rosemary Luna. <laughs> You're not late. <laughs> You're fine. Uh, I'm just going on. I was talking about the Gem H two O Fountain of Life bottle, <laughs> Chris. It's um a crystal energy infused water bottle so at the bottom you have uh crystals and mine came with these crystals already in a bonus mixture of um crystals it opens from the bottom and you put the crystals in so they don't make contact with the water and then you just have a screw top to drink out of so yeah, this is what I got. I put the link here in um, the live chat and it's like 33 bucks, 33.99 on Amazon, which I hope I didn't pay too much. I think I probably did, <laughs> but yeah. And it comes with this cute little sleeve. So, and apparently it was in a subscription box. Um, uh, if you get like a witch subscription box, which I'm seriously leaning toward doing, I just haven't done it yet. But um, 
they were offering something very similar to this as well. Maybe not this specific brand, I don't know, but something similar. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I recommend it so far. I don't, maybe shop around. I might have spent too much. I don't know. I looked, I didn't look that hard, <laughs> but I did look. Um, and, I, you know, I'm happy with it. I haven't used it yet. I still have to clean it and charge the crystals. <laughs> I have to do all that sort of stuff. Um, how does everybody charge their crystals? And you're not, can, like, worried about the moon cycle at the time. Because obviously, oh, I charge them on the new moon. Some people charge their crystals on a full moon. Um, I've done both. You know, it depends on what I was doing. Uh, but if you're not working with the moon or like you want, if I wanted to use this today or tomorrow, obviously, you know, I'm not really concerned with the, the moon because we're just getting past the new moon. So how does everybody else charge their crystals? For me, I do it in a couple different ways. <laughs> um, sometimes I just run it through smoke, uh, incense. I might do sage, palo santo, or a combination of both. Like, just keep running it through, and I'll say some words. I'll call on um, specific energy uh, to help um, cleanse it. Uh, sometimes I'll hold them in my hand um, using my own energy because I believe we're powerful beings and um, I can actually bring forth the energy to cleanse those crystals myself. I've done that, but usually I use the incense smoke. Um, but yeah, that's how I do it. If it's not like, <laughs> excuse me, in the middle of, um, you know, if I don't have the benefit of the new moon's energy or something like that, or even a full moon's energy. So yeah, let can y'all let me know, how would you cleanse your crystals? If you don't mind sharing <laughs> before using with something like this like i probably i'm ooh, i don't want to use it today so i'm taking i'm thinking how i'm gonna do it because these are smaller see i would normally be working with you know something like this still by moon regardless of phase smoke and selenite okay good point <laughs> yes i forgot that yes yeah, selenite to cleanse it as well <laughs> excuse me through the sun that's another way again for me i've been working more with the energy here because in arizona it's sunny a lot so <laughs> i figure why not use that so that's actually a great option for me probably now that i think about it just put it out in the sun i have to be careful because i feel like our sun is not the same sun that the rest of the earth has <laughs> sage cleansing yeah my sun is different it's the mall i don't know it's, it's um <coughs> excuse me i think there's an additional sun just for the west coast i can't prove it obviously and i know science will say different but it's a different sun but yeah these are smaller so i might go with that so like with something like this because the bag is um so thin you know i would just like you know take one of my sage sticks <laughs> and do something like that and you know say a couple words i don't usually rhyme things so i would say something like you know they're cleansed these are cleansed by my power these are cleansed something like that and just chant that several times until i feel it's enough and um use them but yeah i don't have any crystals this small except for these little things this little turquoise which i still don't know what to do with these i got these um in a kit sacred healing kit i thought i maybe i'll use some or was it this small i don't know but i don't know what to do with these um i haven't figured out a purpose for using turquoise little pieces of turquoise crystals do you guys have any ideas i don't i've never used turquoise for anything i don't even i mean i guess i could do it in color magic um but yeah i don't know what to do with it I really don't. I don't know. What this, I gotta look up what turquoise even does. It's so foreign to me. Where I live, though, this is right on the money here in Arizona, but I don't, I don't know. I gotta figure it out. I just keep it over here. I, I keep them charged. Crystal chips are great for candle dressing. Okay. Yeah, but like, what, <laughs> what energy is it lending to the candle? 
I gotta research turquoise because I I don't I'm literally I don't know I'm ignorant to it because I just I never used it before I bought it and I think the slip of paper that came with it probably told me but I don't still have that paper so I'm gonna have to look that up but yeah I like crystal chip yeah that's nice but I, I want to know what the crystals for um before like you know what is it supposedly emanating or something from it what what is the energy what's it good for <laughs> is what I basically mean um but yeah so also to add decor to a crystal grid ooh okay I like that so it would just be more you know I mean it's, we know it's nothing negative so it would be positive but yeah it could just be for decorations because when on my altar for instance I will have spelled candles and then I have other candles that are just there to aid in the ambiance. <laughs> They're not charged or spelled or anything like that. Turquoise is for protection. Boom. Thank you. So if I put that on a candle, that'd be even great. Or the crystal grid. Yeah. Okay. It's so little. I'm afraid. I don't want to use it now. <laughs> I mean, I and this isn't this a problem with being a witch. You get things like this, right? And I now I know. Oh, it's great for protection. But now I don't want to use it. This is an issue with me and almost a lot of my crafts that I do. Not just witchcraft. Where you, it's like um, we become collectors. Uh, I got to watch that. <laughs> because that holds certain energy too. If you're always collecting, collecting and never using it. Um, I believe, at least for me, doing too much of that sends um, and healing. Thank you. It's for healing energy as well. I believe too much of, like, I didn't say hoarding. We're going to say collecting. <laughs> I think doing that sends a message to the universe that, you know, you have enough. You you, you don't want any more. Um, make a necklace out of the bottle. Ooh. Oh, using that, like, wire thing. Oh, I could put a little something else in there, too. Oh, you have good ideas. I like that crafty oh that would be cute make a little necklace and i could maybe get a little couple more chips or something another just hmm, maybe some of the small pieces in here and fill the rest of the bottle up that is a really cute idea i have been wanting to branch out into jewelry making it seems like an expensive hobby i don't know <laughs> but by the time you get the tools the wire cutters the thing to bend the wires and all the little clasp attachments, at least when I'm in Michael's and I look over in that section, it looks like this might be an expensive hobby that I might go. Not that that would deter me. The problem is I don't need any more hobbies <laughs> from my, that. Well, that's not true. I could always use a new hobby. Expensive hobbies. I may not want to invest in that yet. I don't know. Is, is jewelry making expensive? It looks like it. I don't know. I guess it depends on what you're buying, but like, if you're starting from the beginning, like buy a new, you know, all the, you know, basic tools and all that stuff. I feel like, um, like my um, planners and things like that. I I want to say it's not expensive, but like this kind of planner, this stuff. <laughs> if I, yeah, if you want, you know. The custom stuff, like, you know, I got this from Etsy some time ago. It has my name on it. And I purchased these two. Um, the planner, the cover, the extra divider pages. It can get a little pricey. Yeah. I still have, um, it's actually, <laughs> look at this. From the fall, these divider pages. But I like them so much. And I like the way it looks in this book. I didn't take them out. I just keep them in year round. I love fall. <laughs> I like the way it looks, so I don't care about it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ready for fall year round. Look at that. Isn't that cute? But this kind of stuff, I don't know. I feel like if you go down this road of like getting into planners and the covers and the inserts and the customization, that can get pricey. If anybody's familiar with the brand Erin Condren, she makes these planners. She came out with this planner. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just stay with me. <laughs> she came out with these new A5. This is an A5 planner. Um, 
and normally she does spiral bound planners uh but yeah she also oh, use coupons craft stores could be affordable okay i'm looking to i mean i'm always down to try some other crafting like i'm i'm open to it like i've tried painting which i, I i'm not very good at um, i only know how to draw stick figures but i keep trying so <laughs> I'm open. I'm open to trying different things because it's fun. I love crafting. It's fun. But anyway, the Erin Condren planner that just came out that I think it starts in the summer month or it's undated. I don't know. I was seriously thinking about buying it. I was kind of excited about the layout. So I go on the website and it was like 80 bucks for something like this. It's like a custom cover, but um eighty dollars come on now to get the cover and the planner when you know i went to hobby lobby and purchased this i broke the thing but maybe that's why i need to spend eighty dollars i'll have a better experience with the button but the the thing that closed it fell off but eighty dollars and it's by the way it's this size it's like this it's basically some it's not this design but you're getting something like this and it i that's crazy. I don't know. I'm, I can't support that. It's nice, but it's not that nice. And I feel like there are other options available where you're getting pretty much the same thing and you don't have to spend $80 for a planner. I don't know. I'm going to need that planner to start planning for itself. <laughs> I don't know. You got to do something special. Do you talk? Like, what do you do for 80 bucks? But that's just me. Um... Yeah, but I um, I love my planners, if you haven't noticed that. Hopefully everybody saw my last video Wednesday where I was talking about the Book of Shadows, the Grimoires, the journals, the planners, and everything else uh, that I have, which probably looks crazy, you know, to some people. They probably think that's a lot uh, to keep up with, but the only thing I touch every day are my planners. I don't touch, which is right here, that's my Grimoire. I don't look in that every single day and um my um book of spell words i don't touch that every day uh but my planners i look at but remind you when i say i open it up i look to see what's going on did i plan something did i want to journal about something um you know if i have habit trackers did i you know drink all my water that day did i meditate that day whatever i'm tracking um and i just put a check or not if I didn't do those things. But I'm trying to think, what else did I have on there? Oh, and the, um, the Book of Shadows, the Cottage Witchery Book of Shadows I'm building, which I'm super excited about. Uh, that's a work in progress, just like the Book of Spell Words. So these are things, when I'm in my crafting mood, um, I work on those. So it's not like I, I'm doing something every day with all these books. It's just the, the planners uh, that I have to touch. So it's not that crazy. But if I told you how many planners I had, you might think that was crazy. And I've scaled down, although I'm about to actually increase them. So I've got my leap taken, this video, like YouTube planner, that's what this is. Um, I've got my, what I call a catch-all planner. I use that for everything, doctor's appointments for me, family, everything, uh, travel plans. I got my goals planner my witchy planner, my budget planner. And I have a custom, I made it myself with a bunch of different inserts I found between Pinterest and a couple things I printed from Etsy. It's like a health and wellness planner. However, even though I made this thing, I haven't been using it and I've just been writing like health and wellness types of stuff either in my catch-all planner excuse me, or my goals planner because health and fitness and wellness is a goal. So I've kind of just been putting it in there and like putting journal entries in. So I stopped, but because I am obsessed with planners, I purchased two new ones when they just came out with new planners for that start in July. Um, so I'm going to purchase one more. So I'm technically adding two. I'm replacing my health journal Health, the health one that I don't really use. And I'm bringing three in, two, two more in. And I have one I don't even know what I'm going to use for, but that's my business. That's what I'm going to do. Don't worry about it. 
do I have a plan? No, but I love the way the planner looks. It's so pretty. Let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> This is how the obsession begins. I think I showed this in a haul. It's the pretty cover that got me. Look at that. It's white. This will never leave my house. I will never take this outside or go anywhere with it because it's too pretty. The cover alone is, and it was like a dollar. A dollar, Joanne's, I got a good deal. And this is the planner. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Anyway, so I think this might become my wellness planner, and I might just use this. This is the one I don't know what I'm going to do with, but it's so pretty, and I like it. And it's color blocked. See? <laughs> you would get into planners, but you're never consistent. You don't have to use planners consistently. You don't have to use it like a day planner, like, oh, I have a job. I got this report due. I got this appointment. You can use it for memory keeping, memory keeping how you felt that day. Um, you can set up a mood tracker, but a mood tracker could be like, maybe you get certain stickers that happy, sad, um, indifferent, you know, whatever you want to assign. If you're drawing, you could do stuff like that. Um, you can keep track of things, make lists. It doesn't have to be necessarily a thing that you plan. Some people use planners differently. They don't use it, like I said, to keep appointments and all that sort of stuff. They use it for the purposes of kind of after the fact, at the end of the day. Um, you know, you could talk about, you know, like you said, journaling and things like that. Um, but it could be a day by day thing and it doesn't have to be written words. You can use, like I said, stickers and little affirmations and sayings. It's just a thing that makes you feel good when you kind of look through it at the end of the week. You're like, oh wow, check this out. You see all the different stuff and um, maybe pictures of, you get little pictures of yourself. You could put those in there as well. I mean, I think if you were like, you know, weight loss, weight gain, um, hair. So if you were doing a thing like a hair journal type thing, you can like add pictures um, for that week, whatever you did with your hair, uh, different styles, makeup. Uh, for some people who are really into fashion, you can have like, um, it can become almost like an idea book and you could put pictures like you got off the internet or something like that, print those out um, and paste those on the pages. For ideas, you could do that like maybe a week ahead. So I wanna wear this or I wanna have this style. Um, if you were redecorating your house, you could take the same concept excuse me, especially if you were doing it phases. So if you were um, gonna do something starting in the living room, you know, for that first month, everything's about the living room. You would put pictures from ads and things like that. Sales, like, oh, it's, um, you know, Macy's is having a sale on uh, sheets or something or pillows. Um, I have a lot of ideas <laughs> to use planners besides just um, keeping track of appointments and schedules and things like that. I better because I keep buying them and I need reasons <laughs> to have them. So I love this one. I think this is going to be my health one. It doesn't start till July. So I got time to come up with an idea. And I bought another big, big happy planner. They're all happy planners. Um, this world needs more of what you have. I like that saying. So this one is, is simply just a gigantic happy planner. <laughs> it starts in July. And it's pretty neutral and just has these big old pages. But something like this can be fun for keeping track of journaling and putting like little small um, pictures in. You could print from your computer and cut them out and they'll fit, you know, you could get it to fit in the space. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, think, you know, like date nights, um, your pets, uh, your kids, and mem I'm thinking memory keeping now. And you can just write, you know, it was every, you know, it was a plain day. We all sat in our pajamas. Those are things to look back on a year later and flip through. And it's kind of cool, you know. I told, I got a lot of reasons <laughs> to, to buy more planners and use these things. But when the Big Happy Planner came out, initially, from my understanding, it was introduced as a memory keeper. And they were selling these little cameras, which you could still find at Michael's. They, they're like basically a Polaroid camera and it, um, you know, gives you a, it, it, what they call an Insta picture. 
new world. It's a Polaroid, <laughs> and you. It, but it was made to fit this size in these little boxes. So, and you can add stickers and get fun with it. But yeah, I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna get my one extra planner because I need to have one on the go. I keep one in my purse, and these all stay on my desk. And then I'm, I'm gonna chill until. 2022 and then i'll start this craziness all over again even though i buy 18 month planners which ooh, i should really stop i should really stop buying 18 month planners because i don't want to go that far i like to try something new but that's the fun thing about planners and crafting by the way i never pay full price so it can get expensive but i don't uh ever pay full price oh you like those ideas good good yeah i listen and imagine if you have one where it's set and collected dust planners, because a lot of us in the uh, people who are really into these planners and things like that, we buy extra planners. And sometimes, honestly, we don't use them. So they have the wrong dates. There are entire YouTube videos <laughs> that will address what happens, what you can do with these old planners, how you can redate them. You can make them new planners again. Uh, using stickers to cover up the dates and sort of resorting them, maybe sticking some pages together, <laughs> excuse me, adding extensive extension packs. It's a whole world of that. I'm very much into that world, so I'm familiar. Uh, but usually I find a way to repurpose planners. I have never purchased a planner and never used any of it. Like I might have started, but then stopped, but I've never just like completely abandoned it. Um, because, I, I mean, I did spend money. I don't like to be wasteful. I try not to be anyway. <laughs> I try not to be. But yeah. Um... Oh no, okay, I already answered that question, okay. But yeah, I'm really excited about the thing that's coming in the mail to talk about. I hope it's, um... well, I'll tell you, it's a review. So <laughs> it's, um... I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I wanna surprise you guys, but I really hope it's what I think it is. I purchased it from Amazon. Um, I should get it in time, but I'm not sure. But I'm probably more excited about the Dollar Tree haul. I don't know exactly what I'm going to get. I have a couple ideas for some spells that I want to do. Um, I might have to buy double things because I know I wanted to do the spell before I do the witchy review. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Either way, you guys are going to see it. I like doing low-cost things like that. That way... Um, it's more accessible and approachable and everybody can kind of say, oh, but I wasn't thinking of doing that. And you can go to the dollar store and purchase these things as well. Sorry, I had a weird alert. Yeah, but this is probably going to be a pretty short witchy review because I don't have a lot to. Um, I just had the one thing, which was a nice thing. Uh, pretty cool thing I, I like it a lot but yeah this is pretty much it <laughs> and I'm also terribly afraid I'm gonna get into a coughing fit uh the longer I talk I knew to bring something to drink this is just tea and lemonade like I said the Sunjoy tea aka Arnold Palmer because um it's a struggle guys it's a struggle and it's been like this for over a week um and I have Claritin in my system it's not like I'm just like not taking anything but Drinking a bunch of tea all the time does not help. I know some people say, oh, drink some hot tea. It doesn't help. Um, for me, and I don't care what kind of tea it is, if I continuously drink hot tea in this state that, uh, state that I am with allergies, it dries me out a lot. So for me, actually, I prefer cold water and ice, <laughs> like um, chip, uh, you know, crushed ice. And like, I don't chew because I don't want to destroy my teeth, but... A little bit of chew and melt it down um that feels great and that'll hold me for a little bit in my throat i guess it freezes it i don't know and i'm finally fine again but yeah too much too much just sitting drinking hot tea it doesn't do what it's what you think is going to do with people like me is there a shot i feel like we've come so far <laughs> with medical things is there something to cure seasonal allergies i don't know <laughs> Who's to say? I don't know. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. 
Um, Because there's just not much else to review. I like the water bottle. I suggest you get it. I suggest you probably shop around. (laughs) Because I'm thinking I overspent. But that was due to uh, me kind of being lazy and not researching. I looked at like two other options and I said, ah, this one looks great. It looks like I, I like the design. I like the way they listed the, <coughs> excuse me, the product, the detail. Uh, I'm a sucker for packaging and marketing apparently. So they got me and I spent 33 bucks on mine. <laughs> that would be my only suggestion. Maybe look to see if you have some better options. All right, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with everybody. I didn't see any more comments. So I'm gonna go and stop talking for a little bit. Rest the vocals. (laughs) And everybody have a happy Friday. Hopefully and a good weekend. Get your crystals. Charge them how you will. And just, I don't know, be witchy. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'll end it here. I was given a chance to see if anybody had anything else to say in chat, but I'll go ahead and end it here. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share. The link for this bottle, if you're interested, is in chat. Thank you. I will enjoy my day. And um, yeah. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. (laughs) See you on Monday. (laughs) All right. Bye-bye.